Right up so, there. It's impossible to make a first impressions video <laughs> of Rio without seeing Christ the Redeemer. Of course. So here we are, and uh, it is a wonder of the world for a reason. Mm -hmm. Super beautiful and super popular. Everybody getting yeah. their photos. The statue, obviously, incredibly beautiful, but also the view. That's right. From the statue. Look at this. Uh, wow. We've got Copacabana over here. Mm -hmm. We've got Ipanema over here. Yeah. Sugarloaf is over there. Yeah. Lots to do and lots to see in video. Okay, let's start the video. Let's start. <laughs> Distracted by her feet. <laughs> Good job, oh, Steve. Steve. Good Steve. Job. Steve. 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 Huh? Huh? <laughs> All right. Shout out to Amelia for taking that fantastic Instagram photo. She's not the only one struggling for her Instagram photos right. because it is packed up here. And why wouldn't it be? It's a world famous tourist attraction, one of the seven modern wonders of the world. Now, in this video, we will tell you our first impressions of Rio. We've been here about two weeks which is about the time it takes for us to get some uh, helpful and insightful opinions. We do have some good ones, as well as we do have some, let's say, critiques. So at the very least, we will try to be respectful and fair <laughs> in our first impressions of Rio. First things first, we took the tram on the way up here, and for the most part, it goes through the jungle, although there was one really nice viewpoint on the tram, and it sort of set the table for the incredible view up here. So obviously, Christ the Redeemer is the attraction, but the viewpoint around it is uh, not to be missed. And so you can really see why they call Rio one of the most beautiful cities in the world. I love the way the city is sprawled out amongst the nature. So right in the middle of the city, you have these gigantic green rocks that are covered in trees and the city sort of naturally fills the space around them and of course all the bays and all the beaches and all the inlets and all the peninsulas and the way it's just so beautifully done I feel like uh, a painter could never paint a better picture. <laughs> now, we got kind of lucky because we can see, for the most part, the view. Although, as you can see, Christ is covered now. And in 10 minutes, he might be visible again. And in 10 minutes, he might be covered again. And same with the view looking outwards. The clouds are changing at an unbelievable rate. Now, in the distance, you can just barely see something called Sugarloaf Mountain, which is another cannot miss attraction here. It's another viewpoint. Over there, you don't take a tram, but rather you take a cable car, which is quite exciting the way it swings and you can feel it beneath your feet. <laughs> and when you're stepping off and you're back on land, it feels like you've been on a boat. Kind of scary. Where part of inside of you is still moving, even though the ground is not moving anymore. But it's quite exciting over there. And also, same as here, over there, the view is just incredible. Mm -hmm. I would say the best view in Rio. Seriously. <laughs> yes, I think so. Wow. Pretty sweet. And you can see Christ the Redeemer. So Christ the Redeemer. Right there. Also I love beach full of people. Beach full of people. Right here. Beach, beach. full of people. Everywhere you look, over here. Beach full of people. Wow. So beautiful the way it's all nooks and crannies and peninsulas and bays. Mm -hmm. So nice. Now one thing you'll notice is on top of the hills or on the side of the hills is where you have the favelas in Rio. That's right. So because of all these hills throughout the city, the favelas are sort of spaced out throughout the city and in this way you get a city of contrast because the beachfront is where you get the rich 
expensive hotels and rich people and then moving back you get sort of middle class and then moving back further into the hills you get the favelas now this is where the vlog will take a slight turn as we give an honest review here i think rio would be a world-class destination for tourists who are not youtubers Mm -hmm. You have to remember that Ivana and I are working as we're traveling and part of our job is to bring the camera in our hands and walk around with the camera. Unfortunately in Rio there is a legitimate safety concern. So many locals as we were walking around said to us, yo I wouldn't walk around with your camera. That's it's right. just a little bit dangerous, you might get robbed. And so I think if you were a tourist without a camera this would be one of the go-to places because there is lots to do. The other day we went to a lagoon that has an island in the lagoon. Yeah. There's all these people on jet skis going around. We took a ferry to a restaurant in the lagoon. We made some friends. We had some drinks. It was seriously so great. That was so fun. But if we were to do that with our big camera and our microphone and all of our YouTube equipment, we might have gotten into some trouble. So it's been what? tough for us to enjoy Rio to its full capacity because we're sort of nervous all the time. Yeah. That being said, Rio is the cultural center of Brazil. So samba is a Rio phenomenon here. We went to a samba school with our friend Dunga, who is a karaoke, and it was like a was once fun. in a lifetime party. Yeah. We were drinking, we were dancing, they had this live music, samba music that is so loud, <laughs> so incredibly I loud. How fast they move their legs. Yeah, samba. samba is like running on the spot, but also twisting your hips as you're running. It's like the ultimate cardio workout. Yes. And you'll have to apologize for the choppers going behind us. The noise from the oh, helicopter. Look at all the... Yeah, it's seriously... <laughs> Brazil is full of action and Rio is full of action. But in Rio, we've been a little bit concerned about our big camera. And this has been the only negative complaint we have. Yes. So we haven't right. been able to enjoy Rio to its full extent. Uh, with that being said, man, I want to sit in one of these parachutes right I now. I know, wow. They Let look me just so take cool. a video. Sorry, guys. I have to take a video of this. Wow. Man, there's like dozens of people in the sky right now. Hello? It just looks incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that would be an experience to remember. And so I don't want to get too caught up with the safety concerns because we have had a lot of fun in Rio, to be clear. We did go to a football match, so I will say Vai Vasco. They're selling beer! Vasco! 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 And I will say, on a beach in Rio, it's a very unique vibe because there's so much sports I happening. I love the beach. There's so much activity happening. Yeah. It really stood out to us as a unique place where everyone is on the move, on the beach, healthy and happy people doing amazing things in a seriously beautiful place. So, in review, Rio is one of the most beautiful cities in the world and there are lots of things to do. You could spend a week or two or three weeks here and do new tourist activities every day. Yeah. More than just the beach to offer. Although for our experience, we really felt like we were not able to unlock the full potential because so many people <laughs> were sincerely telling us, yo, you can't bring your big camera around, you're going to run into trouble. Yeah, so we were on the edge like all the time looking over our shoulders which bring the yeah. fun factor down brings the fun factor for down. us but i mean i can see how rio can be a lot more fun for just like regular tourists uh, coming for a vacation I not could, to work I vacation could, yes <laughs> i could honestly see a tourist thinking this is the best place in the yeah. world for tourism because there's so much going on so much action the weather is great and this, sincerely one of the most beautiful places honestly the scenery is mind-blowing yeah. here it's amazing it's so beautiful so beautiful just a short video today we didn't want to dwell too much on the safety concerns because it's very funny that about 
half of the Brazilians we meet say Rio is completely safe, you'll never have any trouble, and the other half say you've got to watch out, it's very dangerous. So it's yes. hard to get the right impression, although when we were walking the streets with our camera, people would come up to us and say, you shouldn't walk around with your camera. Yeah. A local from Brazil who's born and raised here from Rio would come up to us and say, this is a bad move, dude. So that's basically our first impressions. Yeah. More than just the beach, really beautiful. But uh, come and leave your camera in your hotel Behind, room. Yeah. Leave your camera in your hotel room. Then you will have so much fun here. Yeah, lots to do. Yeah, look at all the fun people around us are having. This place is so touristy. It's actually super packed right now. It's even more, I think, more packed than when we were at Sugarloaf Mountain. Definitely, and it's a weekday right now. Yeah. So uh, they say more than two million tourists come here every year wow. to uh, Christ the Redeemer. I mean, you're in Rio, you cannot miss Christ the Redeemer. It's one of the must, even in a cloudy day, I think you should just go. Yeah. Just because it's a must. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> and just like that, Christ is visible again. The clouds are coming and going at an incredible rate. All right, there you have it, guys. Just a simple video today. We wanted to mention uh, all the things we did here, as well as uh, give an honest review. If I had a YouTuber friend who wanted to travel Brazil, I would recommend uh, so many places in Brazil. I might not recommend Rio. It's not the best for uh, camera. Yeah, in this is just all our own experience. This is our own experience. We right. didn't have the best time, but we can see the potential for vacationers here. There you so. have it, guys. Thanks for watching our video. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Later.